So today we're going to look at the synthesis of benzocaine. So below we see the structure and we see that there's an ester linkage here. So let's look at the observed reaction. Now the general reaction takes place when you react an alcohol with the carboxylic acid. Under acidic conditions, notice that it's reversible and we make an ester. So here's our ester linkage. In this experiment we're going to be looking at ethanol plus a substituted benzoic acid. So here's benzoic acid and down here located right one two three four para is the amino group so this is para amino benzoic acid also known as PABA it was an ingredient used in sunscreens commonly at one point in time so a few drops of sulfuric acid um, and a little bit of heat will cause this reaction to form our ester linkage because we're under acidic conditions that amine group is going to get protonated to become an ammonium ion and water is one of our products also. So let's look at the mechanism here. So we're going to start off here and I'm, I'm going to abbreviate this benzene ring here as a pH and we just have to remember that we're para here on this. Right? And under these acidic conditions I'm going to use H plus slash H2O rather than H3O plus or sulfuric acid through the mechanism. But the first step is going to be protonation of our nitrogen so it becomes protonated. Next the carbon uh, double bonded oxygen gets protonated so that oxygen up at the top gets protonated and it gives us three resonance structures. So uh, the first intermediate would have a positive charge here. Right? Electrons could then come over and form a double bond here popping these electrons up to oxygen moving the plus charge over to our oxygen on the far right and then the last one would have a positive charge on the carbon atom. So after that, ethanol is going to come in and it's going to act as your nucleophile and it's going to attack the carbon that has the uh, positive charge here. All right, that'll be your electrophile. So that'll leave us with a protonated ethanol linkage down here that needs to get deprotonated. Right, we could use ethanol there, we could use H2O. We're going to do a deprotonation though, and we're going to get an ester hydrate. So there's two OH groups here. Now if we want to make the ester, we need to have one of those OHs leave and we need to form a carbonyl. But we can't kick off OH as it is because we're in a solution of concentrated acid. So first what we need to do is protonate one of those two OH groups. That will give us our protonated ester hydrate. We'll have our electrons collapse back down from the OH group, kicking off water. Right, so that's our water, right, is one of our products just got eliminated there. And then lastly, we have water coming over and grabbing a hold of that H to give us our final ester here. Now, um, lidocaine and benzocaine, they alter signal transduction and conduction in neurons by blocking fast voltage gated sodium ion channels. And these ion channels are in the neuronal cell membrane and they're responsible for signal propagation. So if you block that signal, then there's no, um, there's no nerve signal, signal there. So the lidocaine and most of the canes interact and, and produce an anesthetic effect by stopping that signal transduction.